kid you knock on my door I am opening it and I'm going to show you my soap stamp you guys my perfectly imperfect soap stamp thank you for stopping by I am Natasia and I just wanted to drop a quick video to show you how I attempted to make a web soap stamp because I got frustrated looking online for something that I wanted for my soap stamp and so I decided to make my own. I just, guys, I just wanted to do this because I got fed up. So I started out doing an, um, a design on paper and then I said, okay, this is how I want it to look on my soap. And then I started to do the design in the soap. Now, of course, this is a learning experience. So there are things that I kind of wish I did differently. First, these grooves that you see me carving in the soap, I wish they were a bit deeper. I realized that the grooves have to be a bit more exaggerated so that it looks more um, deeper and, you know, believable in the actual product. So this has to be exaggerated so that the resin can sink inside. And then when you stamp it, depending on how hard you stamp it determines you know how deep the design goes into your soap or not I did have the option of using um, modeling clay I think it's called but I was impatient <laughs> so I decided I'm gonna use this now this was my first attempt those lines to me look like they were going to be mud muddled in the um, when I poured the resin and I wasn't sure I wasn't too confident so I did decide to do another stamp where those web lines are a bit further apart And this is attempt number two. As you can see, the web um, spaces are a bit um, spacier. And I'm trying to wrap the soap because the first time I tried to do this, all the stuff leaked out. Here is the resin that I used. Um, it worked pretty well. It dried clear. You see me stirring like crazy. That is a no-no. Cause I put bubbles in it, but it's okay. Cause I was just doing a prototype. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, this is 24 hours later. It's nice and hard. It's clear and I'm going to be peeling it away. But like I was saying before, the reason why I wrapped the bottom with the saran wrap and the masking tape is because I was trying to prevent the resin from leaking out the bottom. So here's the first one. You see how it, see how it has more spaces between it? I thought that one was going to come out a bit better. It kind of did. Um, but the second one ended up being the one that I used when I made my fall, spi fall spider soap. She's a bit crusty, but so are some of y'all when y'all wake up in the morning 24 hours later, so don't be judging. She needed a lot of work, but I like what I see so far. What I did not show you guys is that the edge of this um, resin stamp uh, was um, had an a edge to it. And unless the soap fit directly in it, it was going to cause an indentation. So I was in my backyard on my little concrete step 
trying to grind down <laughs> the sides so that when I stamp the soap, it wouldn't make another indentation. You'll see what I mean when I do one of the stamps. But guys, like I said, I got frustrated. I wanted to see if I can do something myself. And this is what I did. And I'm not mad at it. I definitely know where I can improve. I think next time I'm going to make the actual resin stamp bigger than the actual size of my regular soap. That way I won't run into those edges puncturing my, my um, finished soap product. I think I'm gonna do that next time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna keep trying till it's perfect. So here we go, stamp number one. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so you see the indentation, which is great. I didn't press it at that hard because I was concerned. I can use that as a guideline if I want to trace it. Or as you see me using stamp number two, I can add some type of soap glitter to the soap to see if it will accentuate the web design and it did. Now you see where the circles are? That's that edge that I was telling you that I was scraping at the back of my my back step <laughs> so then I stamped some soaps and I did some testing and I liked the results so yes now I know that if I need to make a stamp I can do it by myself you know I gotta spend all that coin trying to buy stuff but I don't know I mean it, it was time consuming guys I'm not gonna say I'm gonna make a soap stamp all the time but hey I know that I can do it. Here are some of those soaps that how they came out. I loved it. Click on this video right here if you want to see how, how my fall spider soap came out. Watch more of my videos. Protect your energy. Stay positive. And I will definitely see you guys on the next one. See you later.